In this video, I'm going to take you inside my head and let you know what I'm thinking in a live weekend league matchup. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about helping people get better at Madden 21. So if you want to get better at this game, go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, so for those of you all that don't know, weekend league is kind of the... The, the, the must-do thing in the weekend uh, for Madden. It's where you get some good competition, you get some great rewards, and so I am matching up with um, a guy from the TGL crew here and just wanted to break down kind of what I'm thinking, you know, when I'm as I'm doing it, you know, what you can really um, learn from and some of the mistakes that I do, some of the good things I do. Now I'm running a new offense, and um, this new offense that I'm running is from the Run Heavy Playbook. It's the punch, uh, basically, um, it's essentially the bunch tight end offense, um, the meta from the bunch tight end. But I'm doing a, a couple little twists on it. And again, it's not just PA Cross, even though PA Cross will be something that I go to a lot. Um, there will be other plays that I go to as well. So if you want to get the full scheme, um, go ahead and check it out in the description. If you want to get kind of a free sample uh, of the scheme, uh, then just let me know as well. So starting off here, our first drive, we're just trying to kind of establish something. We're trying to see how he's going to defend our must-stop play, and that is PA Cross. It's the play that we must make go. It's the play that we will make go, and it is the play that we will run again and again and again. And as you can see here, we're hitting Randy Moss up top. Now, we do have route tech on Randy Moss. I've actually stopped using abilities on my linemen so that I can get route tech on my on my. Um, on my Randy Moss uh, card out there. So, you know, we're going to be interesting to see how that goes. Now, I t am terrible on special teams, so if I miss a kick, um, I'm just not a very good special teams player. So, uh, defensively, I'm running my 3 3 5 wide scheme. I actually haven't done an inside the mind, I don't think, um, with me running this 3 3 5 wide defensive scheme. It's been the best defense in the entire game, um, and it's been the best defense pretty much all season long. So I'm excited to jump into that as well. And if you want to get, again, if you want to get that scheme, uh, that is also in the ebook, or the ebook is also in the description as well of this video. So one of the things that's been going on in Weekend League, which I'm not sure if this happens every weekend or, you know, just in particular this weekend, it is just extremely bad. But I just feel like it is really, really, really laggy. Um, so uh, I've been having a hard time kind of getting, you know, just getting all my guys where they need to be. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, now it looks like he's going to run the same basic offense here. So I'm going to try to hit him with a user rush. We're not able to get home. So we're just trying to get tackle here. Um, we were going to try to hit him with a, a, a pass rush there, but that was probably a bad strategy. Uh, the blocking that you get from bunch tight end is super effective, in my opinion, um, and it just makes it so that it's really, really hard um, for uh, for your opponent to, you know, really be able to, you know, get good, you know, get a good block shed against you. That playmaker is unreal as well. Um, I didn't tell you that as well that I do have playmaker on my wide receivers. Um, on my Terry McLaurin card, on that drag route, I always have a playmaker on that um, in Mutt, specifically for um, something like this right here. So here, there's your playmaker, there's the delay fade, and as you can see, I mean, that's just a really, really good combo that he's got going right there. So I'm going to have to adjust to that as this game goes on. Um, right here, I'm actually going to go to a little, uh, little bit of a zone look here, a little Mike Blitz 3 zone coverage look here. Um, try to take that away. Only problem is we left the playmaker wide open again. So the playmaker is one of those things that's going to be hard to stop. Um, and really, um, let's see here. He's probably going to run the ball on us here. But really what we're trying to do is force him to... Um, he does going to go outside. Um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to force him to basically have to kick field goals. Um, that's the, to me, that's, I, I know it doesn't, you know, seem like it, but that to me is the best strategy for a scheme like this, as good as this is. So, you know, we're going to try to force him to take field goals. Um, got some hard flats out there. Able to make a good play on the ball there. That's going to bring up a third down goal. It's really hard to pass in the red zone consistently, at least in my opinion. Um, the biggest thing you know that we're going to have to watch out for is some type of curl route or something um, like that. So these outside thirds typically will play pretty good uh, right there. 
and I was like one split second away from an interception there. I felt like that was probably a bad read, but he's able to get the touchdown, and we both have relatively easy drives, and we were both running the same basic formation. So it uh, should be an interesting game plan um, or game as we go throughout here. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, research has shown me that about 40% of the people that watch my videos are actually subscribed, which means that 60% of you guys aren't subscribed so make sure to subscribe so that way you can get better at the game and just get more access to the channel get more of our videos we upload eight different videos a day so we do a lot of different videos um, throughout the throughout the day so make sure to you know make sure to subscribe so that you can get access to all of those all of those videos now realistically a couple things we have to monitor as the game goes on is kind of what he does with his user and, and kind of how if he runs PA cross all the all game long. Now, in my opinion, PA cross is one of those plays that you can literally run all game long if you make the right read. A lot of it's about making the right read. Um, so, again, PA cross is our base play, and until he does something that's going to force us to have to really, you know, kind of consider getting out of that, out of that, um, you know, we're going to sit in that for most of the game. And right there, that was a pretty good user by DK Metcalf over the middle there, but we're able to get that route um, to. Uh, our tight end. Now right here we're going to go to another setup and just see what he's doing here and we should be able to hit that corner out. Now in my personal opinion I actually think that play right there might be better than what we normally run from bunch um, than what we normally run from the bunch tight end formation so a lot of people don't really use that play that's one of the number one plays that I will actually go to throughout the course of this game you'll notice that there's really two major plays that I'm gonna call uh, one of those is the play that you just saw and then the other one is obviously the PA cross which is obviously well spoken of a lot of people know about that play but what they don't talk about is you know what do you do to counter it what do you do off of it how do you make it into you know just a whole scheme um, as opposed to something like that so right here we're just gonna take a sack um, I, I probably didn't do a great job of reading the reading the play there but I just didn't see anything the crossing route to Moss is kind of a tricky route to master uh, I really feel like if you master it uh, right here we're just gonna take our playmaker dot when you run playmaker with this offense I think it makes it like super super hard to stop um, right here what we're gonna do is we're going to kinda try to essentially bait him into user over the middle and try to hit this route to Moss um, and right there we fit it into a really tight window we probably shouldn't have even thrown that but he's given up this corner route to Moss a lot so we're gonna go back to that here and just see if you know see if that's something that might be open and it is on the sideline trying to break attack with Moss get down we got about two minutes left, so right here I'm going to audible into the trio. Now I'm going to take this to the two-minute warning. The main number one reason is really because, um, actually I'm going to run this because I just didn't think he had a good look, and Barry's going to go ahead and get in there. I just I was going to take it to the two-minute warning, but the reason that I didn't was because I just felt like he didn't have a he didn't have his run defense set up. I felt like he was kind of scrambling. And honestly, I mean, he might have been able to tackle us, but he probably should have been able to tackle us with DK Metcalf. Um, you know, but we're able to scamper off the outside there and get in the end zone. So we're two for two so far on the offense. Defensively, we've just got to make a better um, – we, we just got to play better on defense. We, we really haven't um, – we, we didn't give him a whole lot of resistance until he got into the red zone last drive. So kind of the same thing. The playmaker uh, um, read, there are some things that you can kind of do to, to slow that down. We can drop a flat on that side, or we can, um, you know, even use her that side as well. So that's just something that we're going to have to kind of monitor um, through the course of this game. Another thing that we're going to do is if he keeps going to this PA, uh, PA play, you're going to see right here, we're going to send some pressure. Just gonna go user here, and he actually picked it up really, really well. We were trying to send. I think we sent six that time. And here we're gonna try to really trying to come right through the middle there, but we can't get the pressure in. So right there we got hung up on the hung up on our own guy. So 
Alright, right here. Um, pave it over. Where's the playmaker? Oh, I thought I was going to get a pick on that one. I feel like our zone coverage is playing pretty well against this. We're going to stick with zone for right now. And we throws right to us. Nice job. Yeah, so right there, we were just kind of baiting him into throwing that. We were trying to get him to think we were going to go take the drag route like we did on that last drive or on that last play. And he just made a bad read. We were, basically, we are going to jump to the drag, and then we were going to jump back onto the crossing route. We were able to get the stop. Um, so now we got to capitalize on it, though. Um, and there's that playmaker read once again just being super big for us. And right there, I probably should have just ran it out of bounds. But I thought I could, I thought I could do a double juke back to the inside. But unfortunately, I only I only juked once. So right here, you know, mainly what we're doing right now is we're just trying to force him to do to to have to overextend. He hasn't really overextended yet. Um, right there, he tried to get us with a user rush on the outside, and we're just going to take our drag. And what's what's really cool about this PA crossplay, um, in my opinion, is when you're running it really really well, like you can. It just it forces the defense to have to play darn near perfect, and if they don't play perfect, like you're gonna have a pretty good shot at at really having a good chance to win the game there. So, right there, I probably could have tried to rack catch that upfield, but I just wanted to make sure I got the cut, got the catch down. This run heavy playbook, I think the run heavy playbook is very very underestimated. This guy's gonna go ahead and quit out, but as you can see, I mean, just a really really good. Um, offensive scheme. So we're undefeated with it in weekend league so far. Obviously, we haven't gotten super deep into weekend league, but we're we are undefeated um, with it. And if you want to get the full, if you want to get the full ebook, go ahead and hit it up in the description. If you have any questions about the scheme, just text me. My number is eight one two two one six three six four four. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.